Five tools then, five tools to make virtually anything, five tools that you will use in virtually every modeling project you use. So before I get into it, I'm just gonna set up the scene. Uh, so I'm in Blender, I'm going to go general, and then I'm gonna click the cube and delete it out. And then we will go to add, mesh, and cylinder. Now we're gonna make a mushroom with a tool stalk and a broad cap. Uh, so I just want to adjust this a little bit. So this will be the stalk. So I'll set the radius at say 0.2 uh, to make it nice and thin but tall. And then I'm just going to put it on the ground plane by uh, setting the Z value to 1. Okay, so that's it. When we get to the next section, we will look at tool number 1. Talk to you then. Tool one then is the extrude tool. So let's go into edit mode with tab. And then I'm going to do, go into poly select mode and select the top polygon. And I want to create the cap here. So I want to make some height to do that. And with that, we use the extrude tool here. So we have extrude region here, or you can press the E key and move your mouse upwards. So I'm going to move it up to somewhere around there. And then we're going to use extrude again to form the uh, width. So I'm going to double click to select that loop around there. So double clicking. And then this time we are going to use the icon over here. because so I'm going to click and hold on it and then extrude along normals. And then we will move that out until we have our width. There we go. Tool number one. Talk to you in the moment. Tool number two, the merge tool. So we've got this um, cylinder cap here and it's uh, a single uh, polygon or rather this is an n-gon because it's got more than four sides. And I want to merge all those points together. So if I press M and select an at center, it will merge them into a single vertex in the middle. And that's the merge tool, very handy for capping off ends. Uh, I'm not going to cap off the bottom, I'm just going to select it and delete it. There we go, faces. Okay, that's tool number two. I'll talk to you in the next bit. Tool three then, edge bevel. So we're going to use the edge bevel to round off the top of our mushroom here because it's a bit more stool like than it is mushroom like so i can press w to go to select mode and press 2 to go into edge mode and then double click on this edge and then control b for bevel and then i'm going to move this out to somewhere around there uh, now that creates a cone which we don't want to round it off we need to increase our segments and I'm going to go up to something like four to get a nice dome. Uh, I don't want too many here or too... Uh, yeah, I definitely don't want too many here and I don't want too few either. Too few and it's too angular, too many and it's too high poly. Okay, so we've settled on five. There we go. And that is the edge bevel tool. So I'll talk to you about tool four next. Next then is inset, so that's tool four. So first of all, I'm going to select all the polygons around the bottom. So I'm going to go to poly mode and double click and select that loop. And then we use the inset tool. So if I click on inset, grab this ring and bring it in just a bit. And then I'm going to let go and then bring it in again. So that will do it twice. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I'm now going to move this up. G and Z, and there we go. We have a little overhang on our under our mushroom cap. Okay, tool five next. Tool five then. So now I want to even up my geometry. So I want everything to be of a similar kind of resolution, and my polygons to be a similar size. So first of all, I'm going to do under the cap here, and we use edge. Uh, loop cut rather so if I select on there to cut that into a loop then I can increase the number of cuts here to 
three in this case to give me a nice even uh, set of polygons same on the stalk I want an even set here so I'm going to click and then adjust until I get a nice even set there we go okay so that's loop slice um, bonus tool next talk to you in a second okay bonus tool uh, we're going to use proportional editing to change our shape a little so first of all I'm going to turn on proportional editing and then make sure I'm on smooth and then go to select and mode selection mode and edge selection and I want to select the bottom of the stalk here because I want to put like a bulge as it's going into the ground so we can use scale so if I press the S key you'll see I can move my mouse and it's scaling and it's proportionately changing uh, or reducing um, as we go to, into the fall off you can adjust your fall off zone by using your mouse wheel so I just want this restricted to the stalk so we're going to do something like that I think there we go and left click to drop that down uh, we can do that in poly mode as well of course so I'll box select over the top here and this time we'll use move so G and I'm going to restrict it to the Z axis so we can press the Z key and now as I move up and down you'll see it's uh, proportionately changing depending upon how far away the geometry is from my selection uh, I'm going to increase my fall off there Oops, I've changed my axis. There we go. And I'm just going to squish it down a bit like that. There we go. And you'll see that's bulged underneath as well. That's great. Okay, so now a little bit of randomish variation. Uh, I'm going to select in vertex mode. I'm just going to select a scattering of vertices across my uh, model here, across the cap. And then we use G and Z. And reduce the fall off mode or fall off ring until I can get some uh, nice little dents in that uh, mushroom cap there we go right last one then we're going to use rotate so I'm going to go back to poly mode uh, I'm going to select a ring around there and hit the R key to rotate use my middle mouse to um, adjust the fall off and now I can rotate and you'll see the stalk is partially rotating and moving as I'm doing that so I'm going to rotate it in one axis and I'm going to rotate around and up and then rotate it from that axis to get a kind of wonky in more than one direction uh, cap okay those are the six basic things or five plus one rather um, in the next section, what we're going to do is use those to further refine the shape. Talk to you then. Okay, so we're going to refine this now with a few of those uh, tools. So what I want to do is smooth off these sharp edges. So, you know, that's like a 90 degree turn, which is not what I want. So control B to bevel, just move that out and we'll just leave one uh, two segments in there right similarly uh, where we are where the stalk meets the the cap uh, so control b after you've selected those edges and if it doesn't move by the way you can just click um, you can always change the size here and the amount of segments of course right so let's smooth this bit off control b There we go and this bit here as well control b just so that you know that uh, that works if i just click now i can still control the bevel there we go okay so these two round here i think so select those control b and move oops and click there we go so that's softened it up it's nice and organic now nothing very uh, exciting so what else do we want to do well we could add a little bit more geometry around the um, the stalk here uh, so let's 
use our uh, loop cut. I'm going to cut there, cut there, and this one I'm going to cut twice. So if I cut and then increase my number of cuts to two, there we go. Just so I've got more even geometry up that stalk. Okay, so we have a nicely little refined mushroom. Um, it's quite generic and nothing very exciting. Uh, but next, we're going to use it to make variants. So I'll talk to you then. Variants then. So we want to make uh, some different versions of this. And this level of polygons is ideal for doing that. But before we do it, we want to UV map because I don't want to have to re-UV map every single one, every single variant. So let me double click on that edge there, right click and mark seam, and double click around there, right click and mark seam. Where's that gone? It's there. And now I want the back view. So let's go tab and back. And I want to put a seam from here to here. So select the first one, select the last, go to select, select link, shortest path, and then right click and mark seam. There we go. So that should unwrap pretty well. Let's have a look. So UV editing, select everything, right click in the UV room, a uh, UV side and unwrap. Uh, I think I might have missed an edge. So let's have a look. I have missed an edge that one there right click mark seam a right click and unwrap there we go much better okay so now we're ready to do uh, variants so for that what I'm going to do is go back to the layout room and make sure I'm in object mode I'm going to right click and uh, shade auto smooth so I don't get them quite so faceted and then we're going to make a copy so let's call this mushroom first. Again, so I don't have to rename everyone mushroom. And then select and then press Shift and D. And then you can move that around. But now I'm going to right click to put it back where it started. And then press Shift and H to hide everything else in the scene. And then tab to edit. And now we're going to make a different version of this. So first thing I'm going to do is just scale it. Uh, so I'm going to scale it in everything but Z. So S and then Shift and Z. And then I'm going to scale that in like that. So I'll get a more kind of stumpy one. And then with my fall off on, I'm going to press Alt Z to go into X-ray mode. And then select over the top. And then G and Z. And I'm going to move it upwards. This time I'm going to increase my fall off so more of the stalk follows me as I go. There we go. Okay, Alt Z to come out of X-ray mode again. And we have a variant. Now one thing I might want to do here is just rotate the top a little. Uh, so let's go to the front mode. So tilde and front. X-ray mode again so I can select both sides of the model. And then box select over the top. And I'm just going to rotate this so that that is a little bit flatter. Let's reduce our uh, fall off there. There we go. So I've got a little bit of a, a bend on the stalk. That's not a, really an issue. Just going to select over that there. Turn off. Portion editing. And then press G. And just move that to straighten it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Alt Z to come out of X-ray mode and we have a variant. Uh, come out of object uh, edit mode, to go into object mode and then press uh, Alt H to unhide everything else. So now I've got a second variant. I can press um, the 9 key to go in, not the 9 key, sorry, the tilde key and the 8 key, the top, and I'm just going to move this out of the way. Okay, so you can use portion editing, you can use scaling, you can use all sorts of things to uh, create different variants. Um, I encourage you to be creative to create those variants. Uh, I'm going to create a bunch of variants so I can create a nice thumbnail. 
Uh, I hope you found that tutorial useful. If you did, please press the like key to spread the word. And I will talk to you in another tutorial series.